Today I'm going to teach you how to put your sponge or shoulder rest on your violin or viola. You will need two rubber bands and some sort of sponge. You might have a flat one that looks like this or you might have a curved one that looks something like this. Let's start by putting the rubber bands on your instrument. Here's the easiest way to do it. Put your fingers inside of the rubber band. You need one that's really stretchy so you can stretch it apart. You're going to hook one side of the rubber band over those two points and wrap it around the front and the back of your violin or viola until you reach the end button and you can hook it around the end button. Then you're going to take your other rubber band and do it on the other side the same way until you reach the end button. Then you'll see that the rubber bands have made a V on the front and a V on the back. If you only have one rubber band, you could do it this way. Take your rubber bands, hook it on the end button. You're going to bring it across up to one corner of your violin and across to the other corner of your violin until they make a triangle. And then you have no rubber bands showing on the front. Then you're ready to put on your sponge. If you have a flat sponge, all you have to do is turn your instrument around on the back and you're going to lift up each of the rubber bands until they are holding the sponge on the back of your instrument. The rubber bands will make a V on top of your sponge. You want to try to get that sponge down as low as you can and going across long ways. And then you're ready to go. If you have a curved sponge like this, you'll notice that your curved sponge has a flat side and a curved side. The flat side is going to go up against the violin so that you have a curved smile on the other side. You want to find the shorter of the curved side and that side is gonna go on the same side of your violin as the chin rest. So the shorter side goes on the same side as the chin rest. Then you're going to lift up the rubber bands putting one side of the sponge under each side of the rubber bands. You want the sponge going across the back of the instrument and down pretty low to the bottom. And then it should look like this, where it's flat against the bottom of the instrument and curved facing up like a smile. If you have a shoulder rest, something that looks like this, we're going to find the shorter feet. One side will be shorter than the other. You're going to hook the shorter side on the same side of the instrument as the chin rest and then pull the other side over until you have it sort of horizontal going across like that and if you hold it this way you can see the shorter side is on the same side as the chin rest and it is smiling towards you. And there you have it. You are ready to play.